China just released a free AI model that matches OpenAI's $200 a month offering. This could be the beginning of the end of OpenAI, and Sam Altman is scared. In the tech world today, there are two types of people. On one side, we have the AI pessimists. Skeptics convinced that AI peaked with GPT 3.5. These are the folks who still use Internet Explorer, write emails in Comic Sans, and blame TikTok for everything from short attention spans to climate change. On the other side, we have the AI optimists, the dreamers who believe we're on the verge of creating a super intelligence that will either save humanity or doom us all, preferably in a cinematic fashion. Here's the kicker. Pessimists sound smart, but optimists make money and memes. Staying optimistic, however, requires faith in hype masters like Sam Altman and companies like OpenAI, who guard their secrets like state treasures. Thankfully, China has delivered a surprise plot twist. The release of DeepSeek R1. Coincidence that it dropped on the same day TikTok's US ban was lifted? Maybe. A PR masterstroke? Absolutely. I mean the release of DeepSeek R1 an MIT-licensed, open-source AI model that's free to use for apps, tools, or startups destined to burn through venture capital. While the world celebrated, Sam Altman had his own agenda, attending Trump's latest inauguration, because apparently 2025 couldn't just be a normal year. Elsewhere, tech's usual suspects were busy. Zuckerberg decoding binary for sport, Bezos handling mysterious personal matters, and Elon Musk lamenting how buggy ChatGPT still is. Same Elon. But DeepSeek R1 wasn't here to play nice. With benchmarks rivaling OpenAI's O1 model and surpassing it in math and software engineering, it's already shaking up the status quo. But if you've been in tech long enough, you know the first rule of AI benchmarks. Never trust them. They're the Tinder profiles of the tech world. Always too good to be true. Epic AI, for example, runs a popular benchmark and recently disclosed it's been funded by OpenAI. Nothing suspicious about that, right? So, what sets DeepSeek R1 apart? For starters, it ditches traditional supervised learning, where AI is spoon-fed data and told how to solve problems. Instead, it leans on reinforcement learning, a chaotic yet brilliant process where the model fails repeatedly until it stumbles upon the right solution. Think of it as a toddler learning to climb stairs. Or are you trying to assemble IKEA furniture without the manual? Here's how it works. The AI generates multiple answers, assigns each one a score, and adjusts itself to replicate the highest scoring outcomes. It's essentially teaching itself how to think, which is equal parts impressive and mildly terrifying. Unlike many proprietary models, DeepSeek R1 is open source and accessible giving developers a chance to build tools without a six-figure cloud computing budget. DeepSeek R1 is available in several sizes. The 7 billion parameter version is lightweight enough for most, while the 671 billion parameter behemoth requires a server farm and the kind of electricity bill that might get you evicted. For most users, the 32 billion parameter model is the sweet spot. Powerful, but manageable. Why does all this matter? For developers, DeepSeek R1 opens the door to building smarter tools. Imagine a virtual assistant that doesn't just recite Wikipedia articles, but actually learns your habits, whether that's planning a complicated trip or debugging your late night spaghetti code. For businesses, the open source nature levels the playing field, giving startups a shot at innovation previously monopolized by tech giants. The implications extend beyond apps and tools, DeepSeek R1's transparent reasoning process makes it a standout for fields like law or science. Picture a legal assistant that not only drafts contracts, but explains its logic step by step, or an AI researcher generating hypotheses for experiments. It's like having a collaborator instead of a mere tool. But DeepSeek R1 also sparks a broader debate. Is intelligence about being taught or learning independently? Its success with self-guided exploration suggests that future AI could evolve beyond human oversight, better equipped to handle complex challenges. This philosophy could reshape fields ranging from medicine to autonomous vehicles. Still, challenges remain. Running large AI models requires powerful hardware and not everyone can afford to set up a data center in their garage. 
For smaller projects, the more modest parameter versions offer plenty of capability without melting your power grid. What's exciting about DeepSeek R1 is what it represents, a shift in AI accessibility. Open source innovation like this gives individuals and smaller organizations a chance to experiment, create and push the boundaries of what AI can do without waiting for corporate gatekeepers to trickle down their latest breakthroughs. If you're ready to dive in, start small, experiment with the smaller models, play around with the documentation and see how it compares to other tools you've used. Whether you're an AI rookie or a seasoned developer, DeepSeek R1 offers endless possibilities to explore. This has been fun. No, I'm not building Skynet yet. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.